What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Nathaniel Game Big. So today we're gonna be testing out a molten strategy using uh, basic towers that um I'm not gonna say everyone should have, but everyone probably should have them when they're um grinding at molten at this point. Now you're gonna be using this when you're either grinding for uh maybe a golden crate or for like stuff like mini and stuff like ranger or just just grinding in general for money to for I don't know what you use money for other than golden crates and um. Other than golden crates and uh, better towers, but these are some of the like the basic towers. This is like two thousand five hundred, three thousand five hundred, one thousand. Like this is like maybe the cost of mini gunner, but you're probably gonna be buying these things like before mini gunner. You're not gonna be buying like mini gunner like when you have scout. Like of course you're gonna be buying like farm first before before mini. But anyway, so for this strat to work, uh, we're using a really long map like. You can use Four Seasons, you can use, like, Tropical Island, you can use Toy Board. Like, some of the, like, the really long maps, like, it's nice to have curves so that your um, medics can shoot. So, what we're doing here is that we're going to use mill bases to stall in the beginning. We're going to use tanks to take out the slow boss. But then after you get all your mills to, like, a decent level, we're just going to, like, spam medics. So, yeah, I hope this works. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay for like the first wave of guys, it's fine. Since um you I think they give you more health, like before in the frost event. Ow. Oh what this it is. Well, I don't think we can let this hit us though, so we gotta get a mill base before this. Now, if you if you do have to get down like a mill base or a medic to save yourself, like go ahead. If there's one medic on the field, it won't really affect the entire game. Like. Medic for for a noob tower is actually not bad. Your max is like six damage is a lot. You can't let this hit us. Like this is really cool. Um. Also, only remember to, remember to only put down mill bases when you could when you have a thousand, so you can level them up immediately to level two. And now we have a sixty sixty health. Keep coming out. Bad. Uh, out of them. All of these. They do have an interval of like 30 seconds. And since the slows are so slow, you don't have to get more. You don't, you don't have to get more pieces. Like when the slows get to about here, you can get more mill bases, but um, you do need like three, three mill bases before the boss comes out. So we have um lots of defenses coming out. Um, for the boss, you do need three mil three full health mill bases to take it out. And be in mind that this is like molten modes, you get lots of money, but not from farms. From the and look at our health. Our health looks pretty beefy up there. Now, for the abnormal boss, you can upgrade one of your guys to the, the gun. Just to deal with the... Or you can have two of them to him, Just to deal with the boss. Because they do three damage when they shoot, so that's pretty good. So the next upgrade for them is 6,000, it's not bad, so you just have to get everything to this, this, uh, 
I know I have the arcade skin. This is the tree. The first tree, not the apple or this. As you can see, they're just uh, chipping them down. How is that? Oh, it's gone. <laughs> and as you can see, the guns just literally just chip out everything. You want to try to get everything to uh, level three, and then you can start working on uh, upgrading your base. Keep them at level three. You are going to be getting them to max though, because medics are kind of expensive. But... And what's really good is that these jeeps um, can collide with the um, not jeeps, these, these trucks can collide with the hidden, so you don't really have to worry about hidden as much. Kind of nice to have everything with guns. Uh, unfortunately, it can't shoot the hit ends, it's fine. And we should have a tank right now. Now, once you have two tanks, you can uh, start to upgrade your guys up to, um, I mean, I, you upgrade your farms up to, uh, your farms up to max when you have two tanks. Your two tanks should be able to control until, like, until a little bit later when the speed is. The tanks can take out the hidden boss, so it's fine. And also, what's cool about having a really large map is that um, the guns can shoot um, from here, like all the way over there. Wow, we have like one doll. <laughs> we have one tank coming. Pretty cool how we got like six thousand dollars by wave fifteen. This tank is literally a monster. All right, now we can start upgrading our farms. Now, a little tip is that you probably shouldn't upgrade your farms, but you can upgrade it to max. So don't upgrade your farms now. You can upgrade them when you have 7,500, because the max is 5,000. Oh, my God. Now, that's unlucky. Now, this tank is six damage. They also shoot the exploding pellets. Cool. These two tanks are just killing everything. I'm killing them in record speed here. A lot of losses. Necromancer. Now, um, when you're about almost done here, you might want to like figure out where you want to put the medic army. Now, we want to kill the multi boss really fast, so maybe you should put them closer. I think like around here is fine like, on this big area. That's a good place for the medic army. Also, when you have all max farms, you can actually um, do two two tanks every turn, which is good. And railgun tanks will really do a ton of damage. Just got to kill all these guys here. These guys are literally just all um. These guys are all normal bosses, just a little bit less off. Now, if you want, you can upgrade. Um, more tanks, but you really for the slow boss, it's not really like literally the tanks have so much health they literally die when they get to the ending and not because of enemies. Like these molten ones are a little bit difficult. Um, um, get rid of them. I am. Now, um, this. This strat probably won't work for Fallen because of the, um, you get less money, and because the Fallen, the Fallen's have 180 health, and they're just like, wee, so, I mean, you could try this on Fallen, but you're probably gonna need, like, three tanks or something. This guy has, like, 2,000 health. Ah, now we can start getting here, and we're gonna get a ton of money, and now we can get two tanks at once here. 
And once you're done getting your tanks, you want to start getting your world gun tanks. But also, when um, be in mind, you get like twelve thousand. You get twelve thousand every turn. You get twelve thousand every turn, so it takes two turns to get a to get a to get the tank. So five, you ten waves, ten waves to get the tanks. So that means you're gonna be getting your medics in about wave thirty four. And I actually kind of want to save here. I don't really want to get another one. I want to get a real gun tank. Now this hidden boss is they just gonna run into him and he's dead. Yeah, actually. And it's not Molten's. Bang. Necromancers. And the shock problem, they're just Molten's. And here we get more road gun tanks. Maybe we'll get all the road gun tanks early. Ooh, here's our first one. Now, um, I'm using the classic skin for the no base of it. Ooh, that road gun tank. 16 damage is a three times one. He's flat. Too bad I got wasted. Never mind, it pumps into that guy. I get completely wasted. Things really fast, actually. It won't cost a month anyway, so I'll have to get it. Ooh, we can get another real gun. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, because I think you get money from killing enemies, um, we're gonna get the real gun tank. Hmm. A big wait wall. <laughs> Remember when tank helped me? It had 900 health. Uh, next is the speedy boss. This is that one died. Oh, I hate it when things get wasted. No, where is the boss? There it goes. You know. Yeah, we have our all our red gun You wait, literally. And now we can start spamming medic, but the problem is medics will usually kill you and that's not good in this case. Hmm? Yeah, here's your next flag in there. So when you're getting your medics, you, you want to try to get them to max because they're, they're, their first couple of upgrades are uh, a little bit sucky, but when you get it to the, oops. Okay, now here comes the mystery bosses. Now, um, Medics will also take out the mystery bosses and the tanks and real gun tanks. I mean, actually, only the Melgan tanks will take out whatever spawn. Now, medics, they actually do a ton of damage. Six damage every couple of every, um, 0.3 seconds. So they, will, they will do a ton of damage with, with the tank. So, poor water in here. It's like, the key bosses now, they're all taking them on.
Now, I actually don't think Commander is actually necessary, but Commander is just a nice little factor to speed up the process. But he does boost the fire rate of your three hours. Make it so far. I'm gonna try to do it without Ravner because Commander's kinda cheating. But in reality, if this strategy works, we should probably buy Commander before we get the season and everything else. Also, Medica is a hidden detect. Really good. His dramatic ability is broken, I'm just gonna use it because I'm not. Yay, didn't get wasted. Hopefully they die. They don't have to do it. A lot of, a lot of bosses. a lot of bosses. A lot of hidden bosses. It's like seven of them. Your yeah, neck is molten threaten. Hope this works. Well, there's already some... I mean, Molten Boss, I'm sorry, the commander just says Molten Titan and it's confusing. We need to change that. He ain't the Molten Titan, he's the Molten Boss. Probably not gonna skip it. Then you just gotta sell all your farms. I 
different range. Okay. All the ones that aren't attacking. Already thirty thousand damage. Let me put down. Let me put down. We. Maybe. Okay, now we just gotta wait for uh, nine tanks to hit him. <laughs> okay, make that seven tanks. Just hope that he doesn't spawn any molten bosses. I mean, molten tanks. <laughs> Yeah, if he sells any molten type. If he summons any molten type. No. Problem. Stop summoning things. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah Right? Yes. Yes. No. Oh wait. No. This time. Bam. Cool. And twenty-three minutes. That's not bad. Usually it takes about like twenty-three minutes and twenty-three seconds. Usually. Usually it takes about thirty minutes for that to happen. Uh, yeah. Lost. Well, yep. Oh, but anyway, thank you guys. Um, I might make a strategy uh, later about riding towards the people if you don't have like military base with a medic. But mostly, really, you just want to stick with some of the people who are driving or you want to ride just towards the fine people who are going to help find like Just Harrison Discord or anything else. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll come out with more TDS stuff. Watching, bye bye.